Cheers. World Vision Canada ambassador. First and foremost, you took on that role just about a couple months ago. No, it's been a, it's been a year. Has it been? been? Yeah, it's been a year. Mm -hmm. It's been yeah. a year. I've been so involved with them. Marathon, Did the marathon not? for them last right. year, and that was crazy. One of my sure, that sounds great, and then you know, a month before, oh no, this is going to be <laughs> well, tough. <laughs> if that wasn't crazy, you made it through. I did. Yeah, I but did. if that wasn't crazy enough. Yeah. What the heck are you doing now? Well, and I just was saying that I was reading this weekend because I'm like that. Sure, that sounds great. I'll do it for the kids. I'll do it for World Vision. And then I'm reading this weekend that 12 people a year die on Kilimanjaro. Mm. <laughs> so can you fill but me in on that? But only two or three because of altitude sickness. <laughs> That's right. Other what people poorly prepared. Somebody falls. <laughs> a preconditioning <laughs> heart yeah. condition. Absolutely. You are going to be fine. Yeah. That's a mountain yeah. that you should return. However, we should safety. talk. Do okay. I have? Yeah. Do I have? <laughs> Some kind of advantage living in Calgary at whatever 3,000 feet. feet. No, it's a I don't. It's a start. No. It, Come on. Well, maybe you, yes, you have a fantastic advantage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so explain your it. adventure. Okay, so we're gonna climb. We leave we. on June 12th. Who's you like you, me, and Kate? <laughs> no, no, we're coming to. <laughs> no, there's a group of us from World Vision um, that are gonna climb to help raise awareness for No Child for Sale for slave labor in um, third world countries, and so we leave. On June twelfth, we start the climb on the sixteenth, and it's the Lamosho route. Oh, that okay. Yeah, so yeah. that's the route. So it'll take seven days, I think, to do the climb slow, so that we can acclimatize on the way up. Um, Mount Kilimanjaro. Yep, Mount Kilimanjaro. So this is going to be pretty. As being and, and you're taking some cool people with you as well. You've got Corey uh, Vital, you've yes. got JD Scott, and, and Rick, Rick Campanelli. Campanelli. So all of you guys will be. Uh, Grouping up and making the climb together. We're all we're all raising awareness and we're raising funds to help um, education. You know, one of the big things we're trying to raise one hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars with this climb, and we're going to use that to help educate um, children, girls especially that are put into forced marriage. You know, we all wow. say children deserve to have a childhood and we're lucky in this country we're just lucky to be born in this country and you look outside of your own country and realize that there's some kids that aren't as lucky and don't have those opportunities and they don't have a voice so that's our responsibility and you'll be visiting some of the villages beforehand mm -hmm. before we your are. journey I have a, an adopted eight-year-old girl over there Nuru and uh, she's it's amazing and I may get to meet her so that will be an incredible be part yeah that's Aww. gonna be pretty neat to yeah. actually meet someone that you've been helping and mm -hmm. uh, actually see what you're doing, what you're doing to make a difference. Someone who's not famili familiar with Kilimanjaro, how does it rank in terms of the mountains here in the world? It's not a technical climb. It's the highest. It's 19,350 feet to the summit. It's not a technical climb. It's kind of a one foot in front of the other five hours a day. I, the last part, the summit, is the toughest part from what I understand. You could fill me in more, but you know, you get up at midnight and you've got to do it in the cold and the wind so that you get to the summit at sunrise and you get to see and mm -hmm. and then turn around, come back down because of the altitude, right? <laughs> it's glorious. Both of you have climbed. We have on several right? occasions. So you guys can offer some, uh, yeah, some guidance here, some tips <laughs> well, for we, a journey. Well, we took a slightly different route. My wife and I, we took the western breach, and we ended up sleeping in the crater the night before, oh, wow. which was absolutely wow. fabulous. Oh, wow. It actually made for a shorter trip uh, to the summit on summit day, but we went almost all the way down. But let's face it, Jamie, we, we know really well that there's a, a few things you've got to do to stay really healthy. You go with people you know, you like, you trust and respect, and, and you have good water, you keep your energy up, you, you definitely... Hydration. I hear is a big oh, thing. If you yeah. get six liters a day, you're probably going to be okay. But there's going to be moments. Yes, Jamie, there's going to be moments that you're putting one foot in front yes, of the other that yeah. make you say, I think I've got enough. Yeah. Yeah, the neat thing about altitude is it doesn't discriminate from super healthy, amazing right. yeah. athletes. It's a, it's a very uh, neutralizing effect that it has on the body. And in fact, you can be a very high performance athlete. And each time you go there, you'll go back and feel, wow, last time it was awesome. This time I'm throwing up all over myself. Mm. So it depends. <laughs> so the key, and, and, and you know, not to under, I mean, uh, to <laughs> underestimate Kilimanjaro, <laughs> but also to, to lend credibility to what you're doing, it's exactly. a heck of a challenge. Yeah, 19,000 yeah. feet so is a very is serious that? elevation. Seven days. Yeah. Yeah. And the and you go up quickly. That's the other thing with mm. Kilimanjaro. You don't waste time. This thing gets done fast. <laughs> it's a that you're you go right up and down. down yeah. And so no matter what, uh, it, it, there's going to be. You know, you suffer from sleep deprivation, insomnia. You can't sleep. Your respiratory rate <laughs> drops too low. What about These toilets? are the hard. There are no toilets. Toilets are toilet. really important uh, no, to me. Uh, I don't no think you're going to want to ask. <laughs> yeah. oh, or high at, high altitude flatulent emissions or oh. haze. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get really close. Leave the pack is what they're saying. 
Well, yes. yeah, that <laughs> might be something way out front. front. That's right. But you know, way if it was front. easy, everybody would be doing it all Certainly. the time. And I just want to say thanks and congrats for, oh. for what you're yeah. doing because it's, uh, and, and we both know this, it's not just the mountain, it's not just any kind of personal accomplishment. It's, it's the people you meet, it's the cultures that you experience. You've done great things uh, in the Solo Kungu Valley. My wife and I started something called the Top of the World uh, Foundation yep. for, for Children. And if we go to these places and we aren't affected and we don't want to come back and make our world a better place locally and across the world, then we're sleeping. We're, we're missing the whole point of this thing. Yeah. So thanks. In fact, wasn't it 1991 when you first did what I call climbing with a conscience or climbing with a, with a cause? Most of your Himalayan mm -hmm. adventures have had some sort of charitable or nonprofit, just, just like yeah. what happened. You have to be careful, I think, with, with tying your own personal objective with a charitable cause. Because it can come across as, uh, oh, I want to go and do this for very egomaniacal reasons, yeah, yeah, and I'm going to yeah. tag a charity along with yeah. me. We're going to clean up the mountain and save the world. Right. And that can be in a very obnoxious sort of approach to traveling around the world. Mm -hmm. Canadians who, hey, we're here to save the day because we know how everything works and we've got it all worked out. I don't get out. that feeling from Cheryl, though. No, at no, all. No, 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 no I didn't mean it at all. She's done the marathon. She's no, I money, totally agree. Right, I'm not trying to, all you know, kinds of people that will... Yeah. You have to be very careful pieces. with it. In my research with World Vision and what's going on, trying to understand the intention and what's trying to happen, it's going to be a great experience mm -hmm. for the people who will undertake it. Bundled along with this great experience is the opportunity to mm -hmm. draw attention to a very important well, and heart-wrenching cause. And, and what I love reason, about, yeah, no, and, what, and you hit the nail on the head. What I love about World Vision is they're not there just to give handouts. They're there to actually educate. Their hope is one day we don't have to sponsor children anymore. We don't have to donate money. They're trying to educate kids. They're trying to, the money that you donate to sponsor a child goes to the village, not to that one child. And they teach you how to stand on your own two feet, yeah. agriculture training. So I, I love that, that eventually we hope, or they hope, that one day we won't need to help anymore. Mm -hmm. so. How can we follow your journey? Okay, mm -hmm. well, the, you can follow it on um, World Vision and slash Keeley is the website. So worldvision.ca slash Keeley. And they're going to, we're going to be doing a documentary up the hill to track this. Love it. Which I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> not for the camera. I'm not sure about the camera. <laughs> just not that I'm hearing. Just pony. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's It'll be ball cap, yeah, pony just tail. Just go to the pony. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah, there's no showers, right, either? No. 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 Oh, yeah. This is but it's be good for your hair not to be wild. <laughs> it's a good team building. It'll be good. How are you training? Real quickly, how are you training? For this. You know, I've always been Just into fitness, yeah. so I'm right. I run still. I'm doing a lot of um, stair climber. Goodwill was great. They donated some nice. uh, fitness passes at the gym, so I've been doing a lot on the stair climber. Wow. I'm going to go to Banff and do a few uh, hikes before. Uh, you know, I'm in good shape. I stay in good shape, and I do a lot of training and stuff. So I think that's not going to be as much of the issue right. as. And I'm going today for my shots. Ah, I get very important. Yes, yes. Today. Yes. I'll, just to throw for the training, I, I get asked yep. this a yep. lot, as I'm sure you do, Dave, do. almost yep. daily. I'm going on a trip. How do I train? How right. do I get ready? And the ascent is actually, although cardiovascularly a challenge, it's actually the easiest physiologically. It the is. part that really beats you up on any big climb Down. is the descent. Yeah. So I would add to your training, you know, not only carrying up the oh. stairs, but I would go into a building downtown or go to a local park. Go down. Care, put some weight, 10, 20, start with low, up mm. to 30, 40 pounds. Hike up. Get the heart rate going, get the lungs pounding, but then really work hard on your descent. And the mm -hmm. key is not toe heel, it's heel Heel-toe. Toe. Right. And That's really right. burn your quads. Just, ah! You two should you be talking hey. yeah. Calgary yeah. Tower. I'll that, do the Calgary yeah. Tower. Yes. And not the elevator down, walk down. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> oh. Okay, we'll get some more tips for you throughout 